Hi guys, it's Elena, and I'm enchanted to have you be here on my channel. Hello and welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. Consider liking, subscribing, and becoming part of my little YouTube family. And if you've been here before, hello and welcome back to all of you guys right over there. Oh, I got tangled in my own hair. To all of you guys right over there, lots of love, virtual hugs, and hopefully you and yours are safe. Today is an unboxing, and it's in a slightly different spot, so I'm just going to dramatically pull it over here. This is the Crystal Council unboxing and I believe this is my third unboxing with them and I'm pretty excited. It comes in this cute little box. So there are different tiers of subscriptions that you can get, different prices for different crystal sizes and different qu crystal quantities. This box is the apprentice box. I believe there are two larger or more rare crystals and two or three like tumbled stones. It kind of varies. Again, this is just my third box opening and I'm excited to see. What's kind of cool about this box in particular is that they send you a survey every month for things that you're trying to work forward to, work with, and they have like a little spot in the bottom to kind of give them a little note and things like that. Normally I put down things for schoolwork or for my online shop and things like that. I don't remember what I did for this month, but I'm sure they packed something great. So a little bit of dramaticness. Dun dun dun. Ta da! Oh, it's kind of stuck to the top. So we have some cards and a little bit of informational goodies about all this stuff. One of the things that I love about them is that they provide not a pamphlet, not a little paper, but the goodies that's inside and descriptions about them, but a whole scroll. <laughs> like full on hear ye, hear ye vibes scroll. So here is that, and they're talking about the handcrafted Nepal envelope. Ah, this must be, oh, I think this was supposed to be kind of closed over here. Well, let's take a look. So look how pretty the color is, and it's like a very soft texture. Um, it's definitely paper, but it's more of like a handmade recycled paper. We have this little slide over here that comes out fancy I must say and on the inside we have woo, Thanksgiving Cyber Monday 50% off coupon ah. so I might or might not post that coupon in the description for you to go check out their website I suppose you're gonna have to go check out the description and see if I did or didn't post it there you know if you're interested in getting some crystals but that's a very pretty and fancy envelope um here is their newsletter for this month here is that and it says crystal council november newsletter it's almost that time of year again the holiday season but before we do all of our holiday shopping let us use november as a time to step back and give thanks whether you celebrate Thanksgiving or not, it is always a great time to give thanks to the ones around us as well as ourselves. With the Crystal Council focus a lot on the inner self, however, it is just as important to focus on those with whom you're surrounding yourself with. Life is a long race that requires you to use your inner resources and tap into your support network. We all need help no matter how strong we are. This past year has made all of us vulnerable, but it should have shown should have shown us how important it is to have people you can count on to help you through the bad times. This is a great time to make it known to those around you how much they mean to you. Keep your friends and family as close as you possible as as close to you as possible because when you have a year as we all have had, you need to surround yourself with kindness and positive energy. I wholeheartedly agree. So give thanks this November season. About everything. Keep your loved one close. Close. And then they have their little pamphlet here. And it is about giving back is the best gift. And it talks about how the little extra goodies that they put into each subscription box every month is excluded this time around because they are using that to donate the money and buy um, toys for kids for the holiday season, which is just a wonderful wonderful mission. So here is that little bit of information and let's take a look on the goodies inside. So first off we have, ooh, it's a heavy one, and this one is 
Labradorite. Nice. Ooh, this one is very pretty. It doesn't have too much of that like shininess and sparkliness, but once the light hits on this, you're able to see that like reflectiveness, shimmeriness of Labradorite. I love the size of it. This is good palm size, good working size. And here it is up close. Hopefully with the light, you're able to see some of its shimmers. Labradorite is a very pretty stone. Look how pretty, and it matches my shirt. <laughs> it's like I almost knew. Very nice, that's exciting. So here is that. And then we have this little organza bag full of two other tumbled stones. Let's take a look what we have in here. Um, I know the name of this one. I can't think of it. It's on the tip of my tongue and I just can't think of it. I'm not entirely sure about what this one is, but let me give you an up close one. This one is like really, really light for a stone, which is pretty cool. Here's this one. I know this one. I just can't think of the name right now. Here is that. It's like a shiny metallic gray. And then we have this little guy over here. If we can focus on it. Cute. I like little tumbled stones. My favorite type of crystal to get is like a raw form crystal, but tumbled and like points and towers are also really good. But there's just something so nice about like the raw version of crystals. Anyways, let's see what else we have. We have, ooh. Now, this could either be tiger's eye or petrified wood. With petrified wood being a little bit more on the uncommon side, it took me forever to find a good decent piece. I finally found one when I went to Salem. I kind of show it around in, what, in my video, the, the trip to Salem, if you want to check it out. I'm going to link it up at the top. So I might say that this is tiger's eye, just a very unpolished version of it. Ooh, I see a little bit of like shimmers inside. It's a very nice rough piece. I like it. I'm gonna give it a guess that this is tiger's eye. If it's petrified wood, that would be totally awesome, but I'm kind of doubting on it. They look quite similar. So here is that. Very pretty. It is a good sized chunk. I believe that's it for this little box. Let's take a gander of what's in our hear ye, hear ye scroll. <laughs> I like how they put my name on here and it says, hello, Elena Enchanter, winter's almost here. If you love this time of year, enjoy it and take advantage. If you aren't a fan of this particular season, try to not let those emotions penetrate your inner being. As Mother Earth begins to get ready for her winter slumber, realize that this too is a time for you to slow down and recharge yourself. Step back and breathe because winter can be challenging as it constantly attacks your body, trying to make you weaker and more vulnerable. Instead of being a victim to the oncoming winter, be the victor. Even if you have, even if you love these weather changes as the days get darker and longer, take this opportunity to look yourself in the mirror and shore up your defenses. This month, we've crafted your box around inner peace, transformation, strength, and luck and good fortune. Okay, cool. So we have Orthoclase. Which one is Orthoclase? I think this one is the Orthoclase. Orthoclase offers up vital enhancing energies for anyone looking to transform their lives and find love, happiness, and joy with it. The vibrations coming off this stone help help around you down to this physical plane while helping you truly understand your earthly emotions. As one becomes more connected with themselves, they may begin to have completely different thoughts. This is the process of orthoclase relinquishing the minuscule stressors that we carry and Im and imbuing? Imbibing? Imbuying? That we carry and Imving, one with a sense of clarity and life force energy. I think there might be a typo. I'm not entirely sure what word they're talking about. 
These are vital aspects to one's personal growth and will help develop the pure lifestyle your soul is chasing. Nice! So I think this is the ortho orthoclase, the little tumbled stone we have here. Next up is the Labradorite. Labradorite is a stone of magic and protection, allowing one to access the deep depths where an abundance of knowledge can be discovered. Labrador invites us to be more adventurous and outgoing when we normally wouldn't. It allows our desires and energies to roam freely while offering a protective bubble that will aid in our most purest transformation. Very nice. Tiger's eye. Ha, so it is tiger's eye. Petrified wood would have been kind of cool, but tiger's eye is also great. We have given you tiger eye, which brings forth with it raw confidence and will. This stone gives you the eye, of the, the eye of the tiger. It strengthens your drive and simply pushes you into action to get things done. We all know that the path to good fortune is hard work and an unbound will. Carrying the stone gives you the focus to put your dreams into the driver's seat of your life. Jet, jet, that's, that's the one. <laughs> jet has a deep connection with Mother Earth due to its Forming, formation composing of decaying wood under extreme pressure over the course of thousands of years. Meditating with this stone roots one down to its realm and provides an abundance of positive and prosperous energy. For thousands of years, people have associated the stone with bringing them luck and good fortune while also strengthening their belief in nature's energies. Over time, Jet has even garnered the nickname the Transformation Stone due to its powerful energies that will push one into change. Very nice, and it's a good pocket size, so I can tuck it in my pocket where I go. Um, let's see, last part it says, never, never let the external world change or influence you. Weather can have more of an effect on your thought process than you think. During this time of the year, we are less busy as we hunker down inside. It is fine. I don't know who's less busy during this time of the year, but it's definitely not me. During this time of the year, we're less busy as we hunker down inside. It is vital that you take this opportunity to evaluate where you are now and where you want to be by the end of the year. The new year is not far away and it is always important to finish strong. Fasten your seatbelts because the finish line is right around the corner. You've come this far, so end on a high note. The Crystal Council. So here is the scroll for this month. Here are the shiny little goodies within. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, the whole shebang. We have tons of magical fun here and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.